RBI has issued guidelines for fintech self-regulatory organizations. RBI has also asked the SROs to be one of the built on a representative structure which would enable it to draw upon the collective expertise and experience of its members. Anurag Joshi with the details. Anurag, uh, take us through what else uh, does uh, the RBI really mentions as far as uh, these guidelines for fintech self-regulatory organizations is concerned and what does it really mean for the industry? The Reserve Bank of India has approved the framework for the setting up of a self-regulatory organization for India's expanding fintech industry, which is estimated at a market size of over $100 billion, according to the RBI, which uh, released a statement on the matter today. No entity should hold 10% or more of its paid-up share capital, either singly or acting in concert in the proposed SRO and the applicant that is setting up the SRO needs to achieve a minimum net worth of uh, 2 crore rupees within a period of one year of the RBI recognition of the proposed SRO or the commencement of business as an SRO, whichever is earlier. The SRO membership should represent diverse fintech industry participation and this excludes the banks and the, the organization needs to be development oriented and work towards the growth of the fintech sector. Uh, the RBI's view on the fit and proper status of the SRO, uh, the board of directors of the organization and the key managerial uh, personnel would be final and one of the key uh, functions of the proposed SRO uh, according to the RBI would be that it's obligated to regularly update the central bank with the industry developments in the fintech sector and inform the RBI of any major violations by the members of the norms uh, or on any systemic issue now uh, that would enable timely regulatory action from the central bank. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.